those things about these little uh, Redivis RA85s is they have the USB-C charging on the side there. Port, the port right on the side. And uh, there it is. Um, so any USB-C source of power you can or power you can plug in your USB-C to or excuse me your USB cable to um, this takes USB-C into the radio uh, this is a Blue Eddy EB3A so you just plug it in to the front there and then we're gonna turn it on and you can see it's not charging anything input or output right now it's charged at 100% <clears throat> so when I hit the switch here it's going to turn it on we're going to see what it actually draws at charging it so it's charging now and it's 4 watts charging at 4 watts and there it is you can see a little screen there a little icon up here charging there we go so charging okay it's down to three watts so this thing is almost full a lot of times batteries will charge slower or less when they're almost full when they're completely dead they, they usually take a little bit more charge but yeah just three watts it looks like it's settled in there for three watts so any device like this um i did a uh, video on the little marlboro battery power pack in fact i'll just go get that right now and and put it in here for uh visual okay so here's the marlboro battery pack and this has four usb on the top so we'll just shut this switch off here on the um blue eddy eb3a we'll pull the switch out and then we will stick it into the Marlboro here on, let's just do USB number one. And so this one's kind of cool too. You just hit the power button there on the side and it is charging. That's charging as well. So really easy. I've got one more to show you guys. Um, another option. This is the For Patriots uh, little lightweight USB uh, solar battery pack. Um, I want to say this one is 8,000 milliamps. This one is, excuse me, this is uh, 24,000 milliamps and uh, I forget how big this thing is but uh, I've have links in the description for all three of these things and for the radio all this stuff I'll have down there for you guys and um, it's good stuff so this little Marlboro battery uh, pack charged this radio charged both of our, our cell phones this last weekend we went camping charged both cell phones charged my laptop um, and um, I think that's about it yeah and no problem for two days no problem and it was real nice this thing here the Blue Eddy will do significantly more than that and then this thing is something that I usually just carry if I'm going to be gone all day doing lots of um, video stuff out backpacking and hiking and, and whatnot. Um, this will, these things will charge up your, uh, your camera batteries, all kinds of things. This, this one will run all kinds of stuff. Um, CPAP machine, uh, a fan, um, laptops, a bunch of stuff. So enough about the charging stuff but it's 
excellent stuff. But the, the, the convenience is so awesome to have these little radios and just go from one device to the other and not have to worry about it. And this little battery, this is 18 milli, uh, 1800 milliamp battery in this Redivis RA85. It will last you 14 hours. Um, you shut it off, obviously. <laughs> it's, you know, one not in use. You'll get a heck of a lot more life out of it. You, you should be able to do uh, pretty much any day trips, heavy use you want. Um, whatever, you know, if you're doing um, some sort of uh, hiking trip or road tripping in a car, that kind of stuff. We, we used it. Um, out, out fishing back to the uh, to the base camp at the camper uh, that was cool it, it, real nice and um, the options are, are just endless with these radios so this one I've had for a, over a year and a half and it's worked no problem at all just flawlessly so um, let me get over here. So this radio, the R85, um, I love this radio. I mean, it's really a good little radio. It's ease, easily, uh, you can e the ease of use is simple. It's, it's very easy to use. That's what I'm trying to say. I recommend this for like new GMRS users. Uh, it's got the NOAA weather. Uh, one touch uh, Noah let's see if we can get that going so short I got to think short press yep short press Noah short press off long press FM radio long press off and short press monitor for the top button short press off and I think I have the other the other one, long press uh, assigned to the alarm or, or something. I don't want to burden you guys with that. So durability is great. Um, good, strong uh, belt clip. So two things that are kind of something to be aware of. This is not the stock ba uh, antenna. I removed the stock antenna, but they come glued uh, from the factory. They come fixed. They're glued in there. So what I did was heat it up. I did, I'll, I'll link a video if you guys want to do that. I, I wouldn't recommend that necessarily unless you're really interested in doing it. But there's not a lot of difference in performance between this and the, the stock antenna. So um, you should be fine. So the stock antenna is fine on these things and um, the when you get the radio it comes pre-programmed at least some of them do I think they fixed it the early versions come uh, pre-programmed with the all the CTCSS tones programmed in and then all of the channels um, they're programmed in all the channels and then also all the channels are programmed to narrowband uh, you can go into chirp uh, reprogram it take those ctcss codes out and change everything to wideband not a huge deal it's it's a thing but i think in the version twos they did fix that i don't know how to tell which one you get um I think there's a way, but you got to go in there and program it how you want. Anyhow, with your local repeaters and whatnot, it's just a little bit bigger, a little bit more of a step, um, you know, to do that. But, uh, the radio is still a good choice. I think these have been out a few years and I still like them a lot. We choose to use these ones quite a bit just cause they're so simple and easy. They got pretty good audio. The audio compared to like the Wotion S88 is a little thin, um, but it's 
very good and it's loud too so you can turn this volume up and hear it for a long ways um, but uh, yeah I think right now they're going for about $44 on Amazon sometimes you can find a, a be patient for the deal on Amazon I think I've purchased a few of them for $30 uh, but you know you know who knows when that's gonna happen so the radio itself is a good one I'm not going to keep this video going uh, any longer here, but I do recommend it. It's one of my top recommendations for GMRS uh, radios, especially to new users. And uh, like I said, it does work with Chirp, uh, good quality, good value, super nice uh, display on it. You can see it at in daytime, direct sunlight, no problem with the light on or off. Uh, what else can I say about this thing? Just a good, just a good radio. So, um, anyhow, I'll compare this to some other radios uh, down the line here. I'd like to do a direct comparison with the Wotion S88. Um, I've got a Baofeng coming, I ordered, which is kind of cool. I think it's the UV 5G Plus, which I'm excited to try that one out. So. Um, anyhow, thanks for watching you guys. I hope this helped and uh, Yeah, good solid radio definitely recommend it uh, Please like and subscribe